they don't know where their next morsel of food will come from. They are constantly worrying how to move, even to get a glass of water. In a world so uneven, will these rough gems ever be polished? Will they ever have a good life? Yes, they will. Ratnanidhi Charitable Trust is working hard to make a difference to countless number of lives from eradicating malnutrition to making life worth living. Their happiness is the mission of Ratnanidhi Charitable Trust. Most of these beautiful children had to work hard day in and day out just to fill their famished stomach. With food for education, food for saving and food for survival projects, Ratnanidhi has served millions of meals to these children. Now, their dream is not to find the next meal, but a brighter future. It's difficult to imagine life without the freedom to move on our own. With this thought, Ratnanidhi works on various mobility projects like Jaipur foot, calipers, crutches, tricycles, wheelchairs, hearing aids and much more. More than 2 lakh appliances have been distributed to enhance the mobility of differently abled people so that when they have to walk, they don't have to depend on someone else's feet. When disaster strikes, it not only strikes our lands, but also our hearts, minds and souls. And whenever Mother Nature displayed her ire on them, Ratnanidhi made every possible effort to extend their hands to help them carry on with their lives. The foundation has been at the forefront in providing emergency aid at various places since 2001. For life should always go on, no matter what. The world is taking up arms to fight the evil schemes of terrorism and so has Ratnanidhi, but in a different way. With education for terror victims, the foundation has helped terror victim kids complete their education and achieve their aspirations. When knowledge empowers these young minds, these young minds will empower the world. But when did Ratnanidhi start and how? Let us see now. The story began 25 years ago in 1991 when Mr. Mahendra Mehta was moved by a little kid who was helplessly wandering on a railway platform in Mumbai. He started Ratnanidhi Charitable Trust with a vision to tackle the problems of poverty in Mumbai, especially amongst children, and bring them to mainstream. Soon, its humble origin as a family institution crossed the geographical boundaries of Mumbai and then India. In 1992, the foundation started Garment Distribution Project. Giving a good pair of clothes to someone needy is as good as dressing them with self-respect. With this objective, Ratnanidhi has been distributing usable garments to the poorest of the poor children, women and men of all ages. A special pickup system ensures that usable garments are received from across India. The garments are then sorted as per age and gender, repaired if required, ironed, folded and packed, making it as good as new. Now with their clothes, they wear a smile too. Ratnanidhi soon expanded its wings with projects like book donation and vocational training. 
knowledge is power and Ratnanidhi strongly believes in empowering the impressionable minds which is why they have donated books to school children in more than 2000 schools and colleges in Mumbai and India. It has also donated more than 3000 braille books for visually impaired ones. It's a good social service. Many kids like from different schools who do not uh, get such books, they will be able to read these books and it will be a great opportunity for them. Today, these books are helping them start a new chapter of their life. Ratnanidhi continued its endeavor to spread the power of knowledge by providing skill-based training. They have provided vocational training for home management, domestic health, small-scale manufacturing, drivers, security guards, electricians and mechanics. Basic computer training skills and spoken English training are the new additions to their vocational training projects started in 2015. Over 60,000 street children have learned the skills for self-sustenance, but there was still a long way to go. In coming years, Ratnanidhi Charitable Trust grew rapidly and started wide range of activities and also carried out its flagship projects on a regular basis, thus reaching out to more number of people and passing more happiness every day. In 2007, Ratnanidhi also started hospital equipment project. From hospital beds and dental chairs to wheelchair and physiotherapy machines, Ratnanidhi has taken care to import the finest of machinery from USA and Germany and donated them to hospitals and institutions doing humanitarian work. Because we believe that saving even one life is like saving the whole mankind. Ratnanadhi further continues to work towards a better future where each child can look forward to a day free of hunger, suffering, abuse and poverty. Now let us see some upcoming activities and future plans of Ratnanadhi Charitable Trust. Working tirelessly to improve lives Ratnanidhi sets its focus on five important plans. They are collaborating with IIT Mumbai to develop a low-cost artificial limb using robotics, 3D printing and handheld scanner using smartphones. Mumbai Municipality has given Ratnanidhi a 1,400 square feet building next to their Jaipur Food Centre where construction work has already begun. Once completed, it will provide physiotherapy services to the needy beneficiaries. Ratnanadhi has started literacy project in rural Maharashtra by providing educational books to school and college libraries in Maharashtra. Ratnanadhi Charitable Trust is tying up with many esteemed corporate organizations for better outreach and execution of its activities. The foundation is raising awareness about its various causes and reaching more number of people by participating in events like Standard Chartered Mumbai Marathon and also joining hands with taxi and auto unions. Ratnanadhi has also started project for partially blind students by providing them with Google Nexus tablets which has embedded software developed by Language Training Institute of Carnegie Mellon University. It can read aloud regional languages, Indian newspapers and even websites. With such determination, Ratnanadhi has impacted several lives positively. This is Yadgiri's story. He wants to be an engineer. His mother works very hard as a maid to sustain him and his siblings. Yadgiri also does some odd jobs to earn extra income, but there is no money left for his education after everyday expenses. So he attends a free school, Sundatta High School. There, he eagerly waits for his 10 o'clock recess to have his first hot meal of the day sent by Ratnanidhi. The food keeps him attentive in class for the rest of the day and helps him save a lot of money for his future needs. This is the story of Nandini, beneficiary of educational sponsorship for terror victims. Mm -hmm. 
बहुत हमें हम लोगों को सुविधा मिला और बहुत मैम हमारा हेल्प की है शायद कि इतना अगर अपना माँ बाप भी होते इतना हेल्प नहीं करते जितना हमें अपने मम्मी से हेल्प मिली नहीं This is Abdul, beneficiary of Jaipur Foot that changed his life. The world might not be perfect but there is always more room to make it better. We thank each one of you for being a part of this beautiful journey. You have helped us transform impossibilities into possibilities. Let's give these kids a reason to live that can overpower a billion reasons not to. Ratnanidhi Charitable Trust